Honda GX390, 18 amp charging system want charge. New stator and rectifier, cleaned up flywheel. No AC output. Welcome to Just Answer Small Engines, let me try to help you. When you had flywheel off, were the magnets tight on the flywheel with no cracks or damage? Or were the magnets loose on the stator? The stator passing the stationary magnets is what makes the AC voltage. They were all intact, none cracked. Still very strong magnets. Was getting 21 back on one grew white to ground and nothing on other grew wire to ground with old stator. Now nothing with new. Magnets were tight on the flywheel. Stator should be tested wire to wire, with engine at half throttle, and stator unplugged from rectifier. Meter set on AC volts, and reading has to be at least 28 volts AC. Okay, 12.8 grew to grew stator wire. With established AC output. Now with the white wire, DC output, coming out of the rectifier disconnected from the battery, we're getting 11.8 VDC out. We even reconnected it to the battery which was 12.6 VDC engine off and started it. No change in battery voltage with everything hooked back up. Even tried hitting battery with a load tester for 5 seconds. Battery fell to 11.7 VDC and recovered to 12.6 VDC no more. And DC amperage output of rectifier never increased while under load. Having a similar issue with the 16 horsepower Vanguard. Which has a 10 16 amp charging system. AC output is good, DC output disconnected is 12.5 VDC. DC amperage output never goes over 4 amps even under load. And battery voltage never goes over 12.7 VDC. Is this acceptable? Both engines seem to have output but won't get up to 1314 VDC like a typical charging system. These are both pressure washer engines with 12 VDC blower motors and igniters and I need to know that the amperage output will be there when load starts to increase. I'm sorry, AC output at beginning of my last post was 28 back not 12.8. I have put the old rectifier on and DC output is inconsistent but below 12 VDC at its peak. And I've tried two other brand new rectifiers and DC output is the same. That is ground straight to engine block mounting bolt. Rectifier is grounded by itself to the fan shroud mounted to the engine block. The wiring diagram shows the rectifier to be ground to the chassis of engine and to the ignition switch ground. I've tried both ways separately but not together. Should that have any influence? All grounds have continuity to each other, give or take 3 ohms. If you have 28 volts AC at stator, you should have half of that in DC volts on the output of the rectifier. So by that, it seems to me that the rectifier is not correct. Do you have the old one to test? Is it same? Is the ground from engine to battery negative there? I have put the old rectifier on and DC output is inconsistent but below 12 VDC at its peak. And I've tried two other brand new rectifiers and DC output is the same. That is ground straight to engine block mounting bolt. Rectifier is grounded by itself to the fan shroud mounted to the engine block. The wiring diagram shows the rectifier to be ground to the chassis of engine and to the ignition switch ground, I've tried both ways separately but not together. Should that have any influence? 
all grounds have continuity to each other, give or take three ohms. Try adding another ground to be sure rectifier is grounded to same as the battery, or run ground direct to the negative on battery with a jumper wire. Yes sir, that's what we're fixing to do, bolt the ignition panel back up to the engine block and tie the rectifier ground to the ignition ground. Okay, let me know. Okay, did all that? No DC output. AC is still good, I've tried the original rectifier and two other new rectifiers. Nothing. Teresa painted on part number on the rectifier's original SH711A below that is 6.01113 new ones SH748A below that is 0.4061F all three new ones I ordered off of eBay specifying that they fit multiple size and series of Honda engines. The only wires in utilizing off of this rectifier is the two gray stator input wires and the black ground and the white DC output wire. There is a black with yellow tracer wire which the manual says is a sensor wire. And the white with blue tracer wire which is said to be a lamp. Should I be wiring these sensor and lamp wires to something? Light not important, but try a jumper from sensor to the battery positive. Do you have the wiring diagram? Page 117 in the manual. HTTP colon slash www.isgrout.com slash brochure slash manual slash Honda percent 20 engine slash Han TSP 002 percent 20 Honda percent 20 GX 390 percent 20 service percent 20 manual.pdf. That would make sense. I was wondering if that wire would act as an exciter like on an alternator. Well, give me a few minutes and it'll let you know if that solved it or not. Okay. Well, I should have caught that. But kudos to you, sir. Smile, Mr. Curtis, you have solved my problem. Thank you very much. DCV gradually came up to 13.2 and DC amps came up to 13.5 amps under load. I believe that will do just fine for my purpose. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.